Now, voters in Uzbekistan cast ballot today in a referendum on a revised constitution that promises human rights reforms. The referendum will also allow the country's incumbent president, Shavkat Mirzi Yoyev, to stay in power till 2040. The proposed changes in the referendum include lengthening the presidential term from five to seven years, while the presidential candidate retains the existing two-term limit, even though President Shavkat is already in his second term, the change in term length would allow him to run twice more than his current tenure ends in 2026. Some of the other proposed changes include abolishing capital punishment and boosting legal protection for citizens, which also includes those who are accused of crimes. Some Uzbek commentators have called for more democratic principles to be included in the bill. But the general idea of reform and extending presidential powers in particular has met no opposition. The referendum will be declared valid if over half of Uzbekistan's 19.7 million voters participate. Now, results from the referendum are expected on Monday. Earlier, under Mirzi Yoyev's prede predecessor, excuse me for that, Islam Karimov, Uzbekistan was one of the most repressive countries of Central Asia. Mirzi Yoyev now promotes the idea that the constitutional changes will make freedom and human rights paramount in the country. We Earn is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.